Bob, and thanks for joining us. While we were all enjoying the weekend, a third set of classified documents was discovered at President Biden's home and former office. Republicans are now doubling down on their investigation and accusing the Justice Department of a double standard in its investigation. Even Democrats like Adam Schiff are now admitting that Biden's mishandling of documents could be a threat to national security. Dale Hurd has the story. Congressional Republicans want to know who visited Joe Biden's Delaware home after the White House acknowledged Saturday that a third set of classified material has been discovered. In a letter, the incoming head of the House Oversight Committee demanded the White House turn over all information related to its searches uncovering classified documents at the Biden home, as well as the visitor's log to the residence. Stating President Biden's mishandling of classified materials raises the issue of whether he has jeopardized our national security. My concern is that a special counsel was called for, but yet hours after that, we still had the president's personal attorneys who have no security clearance still rummaging around the, the president's residence looking for things. We want to know uh, the visitor logs to the residents. We want to know who had access. The House Judiciary Committee is also launching its own probe into how the Department of Justice has handled the case. Congress has an independent constitutional obligation to oversee all aspects of the Justice Department, and that includes special counsels as well. Even the outgoing chair of the House Intelligence Committee, Democrat Adam Schiff, says national security may have been jeopardized by Biden's mishandling of classified documents. We have asked for an assessment uh, in the intelligence community of the Mar-a-Lago documents. Uh, I think we ought to get that same assessment of the documents uh, found in the home of President Biden. Democratic Senator Debbie Stabenow called the development embarrassing, but accused Republicans of trying to make political hay. This is the kind of thing that the Republicans love. Let's talk about investigations. Let's create chaos. Republicans accused the Justice Department of a double standard in the way Democrats have been treated compared to the raid on Donald Trump's residence last year. Clinton mishandles classified information, they get a certain, Biden mishandles classified information, they get treated a certain way, and then of course President Trump gets his, gets his home raided 91 days before this midterm election. Democrats claim the difference is the Biden team handled the discovery of the classified material properly while saying Trump's lawyers stonewalled federal investigators for months. Dale Hurd, CBN News. Well, anything being labeled properly in this is an absolute mistake. Uh, President Biden should just own his mistake and tr quit trying to say it's a locked garage and all these other weird things. It just doesn't make any sense. We're going to have a lot of sound and fury over this story, and it's going to drag on for a long time. President Biden's not going to escape it unwounded. He's really going to be damaged and hurt in the final two years of his presidency because of this and because of his statements about President Trump, that how can you be so irresponsible? If you judge others, you will be judged. And so by that same standard, uh, the entire nation is going to judge him for this. My prediction, uh, no one is going to take classified documents home ever again. Uh, there's going to be entire teams of lawyers involved in making sure documents are delivered to archives, all of, all of this. But at the end of the day, is anyone going to be charged? My prediction is no. In other news, no surprise here, Congress can agree on raising the debt limit, and that's just days before the government runs out of money to pay bills. Wendy Griffith has that story and more from the CBN Newsroom. Wendy? That's right, Gordon. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warns the government will run out of money later this week. She says the department will begin taking, quote, extraordinary measures to make sure it meets its basic obligations. House Republicans want the Biden administration to agree to major spending cuts before they'll vote to raise the ceiling. But the White House is refusing to negotiate. If the limit is not raised, economists warn the U.S. government could default on its debts. House Republicans are reportedly preparing an emergency spending plan should Congress fall short. 
Turning now to archaeology, researchers at the Louvre Museum in Paris confirmed the text of an ancient stone refers to the Bible's King David. The Moabite stone that dates back to 840 B.C. was found in Jordan in 1868 near the Dead Sea. Scholars believed the text written in an extinct Moabite language described events in the Old Testament Book of Kings. It includes phrases like House of David and the Altar of David. Damage to the stone obscured parts of the text, making it hard to confirm, but by enhancing high-resolution digital photos of an impression of the stone, research, researchers have now verified that it does refer to the biblical King David. So they had to go through a lot of steps and a lot of time, but looks like we know. Gordon. All right. Well, in the Bible, Moab is um, great significance. Uh, they're the descendants of Lot from his eldest daughter. But they're also the ancestors of Ruth. And in turn, Ruth is an ancestor of King David. So to see his house recognized by that kingdom, uh, once again, archaeology is proving the truth of the Bible. Well, today is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, and we all celebrate this day. And let's celebrate by remembering him. Here's a quote from him. Everybody longs for meaning. Everybody needs to love and be loved. Everybody needs to clap hands and be happy. Everybody longs for faith. Those are words he delivered at the Berlin Jazz Festival way back in 1964. Those, those are words that live today. And if you're looking for something to clap hands and be happy about, here's something I learned from a book that was written thousands of years ago. Everybody looks like God. That is something to celebrate. Well, all this week, we're going to be teaching you truths from that same book, truths that will inspire you, truths that, truths that will literally change your life, change how you view things, and particularly how you view money. Here's a story for you. Jamar was running a small catering business, and then the pandemic hit. He had to refund almost $10,000 in deposits, and before long, he was struggling to pay his bills. And this top chef was surviving on food stamps. I just love to cook in general, no matter what it is. Jamar Sheffy worked as the sous chef and head of catering for a large hospital before God launched him full time into his own catering business. I felt like God was more than just a nudge. I felt like he just pushed me off the cliff. Building the business took time and was slow going, making it hard to provide for his stay at home wife, Katie, and their kids. There's a few times where I was like, I don't know if this is going to work. So yeah, definitely got discouraging at some points. And while the couple wanted to tithe, they didn't think they could afford it. I mean, I felt like every single penny, it, it was like life or death. And then sometimes it would just get so heavy, it would be crushing. They already had a consolidated loan and didn't want more debt. Still, they had to replace their flooring as it was causing bad allergic reactions. We had to apply the charges to our credit card. Not something that I personally wanted to do, but I knew for the health of my daughter and myself, we had to take those steps. Other critical home repairs were set aside while basic family living expenses kept piling up. The couple needed a breakthrough. Then at their church's New Year's 2020 vision night, they decided it was time to start tithing. I didn't want to stand before him and have to answer the question of why didn't you give me your first best? I just couldn't do it no more. Not long after that, the pandemic hit. We started getting emails and calls of clients wanting to uh, get refunds because they had to reschedule or they just had to simply cancel. And I do remember us refunding close to $10,000 uh, around that time, which was pretty much all we had our bank account was to a point where it was like, I mean, how are we going to make, make it into the next day? They couldn't keep up with their utility bills, and they also had to use food stamps. It's never a good feeling not to be able to have enough money to pay your bills. I mean, it's, it's not a good feeling just as a man, period. You know, sometimes you just kind of feel like a failure. Their church helped them get by. Meanwhile, the couple got pandemic relief money and surrendered one of their cars before it was slated for repossession. During that time, they gave offerings when they could. However, as much as the Sheffies desired to, they still didn't put tithing first. 
We weren't putting all our faith in God at that time. I call it like the inner conflict. It was, do I still want to remain closed-fisted? Or do I want to fully trust God and open up my hands and give him everything that I had? Jamar says what God said next helped him to let go. And he just said, next year will be the best financial year you ever had. And he wanted me to say it. So I turned to my wife and I told her. I think I had a blank, blank stare on my face. Like, yeah, right. Like, come on, babe. Like, let's, let's be realistic. <laughs> Soon, Jamar was hired as a consultant and trainer for a new barbecue restaurant. And when vision night came around again, he heard God tell him they were supposed to give $10,000 the next year, no matter what. I said, okay, um, I'm going to see if your word is true. You, you say your word doesn't come back void. We're going to test it. At that point, I, I was able to put the pressure on God. It was almost like an aha revelation moment. Like, you know, you tell your children over and over again the same exact thing until they're finally like, okay, I get it and then they obey, so I think it was kind of like that. By faith, they finally put tithing first and ended up giving even more than they'd planned to. With his new position at the barbecue restaurant and increased catering work, Jamar's income quadrupled by the end of the year. The Sheffies had enough money to take care of their home repairs, plus pay off their remaining car and part of their loan. It was our heart to pay off those, to bring debt down, to have more financial freedom, to give so that others you know, would experience like, why, why are you guys so generous? Like, why are you just so freely giving? You know, and we always say, you know, that's not us, that's him. Jamar has acquired several new catering contracts and now has his own cooking show in the works. His income continues to go up and the couple plans to tithe and give more than ever. I can't afford not to tithe because God can't lie. So if you do your part, he has to bless you. Just start tithing and don't stop. It'll just change your life forever. Start tithing and don't stop. It will change your life forever. Believe the promises of God. All the promises of God are yes and amen for those who are in Christ Jesus. You get to claim them all. You get to look at the Bible and say, behold, in the scroll of the book, it is written about me. I get to do these things. I get to be these things. These promises are prophecies over your life. When you receive them and act on them and act like you believe them and then really believe them, wonderful things will happen. They're seeds and they germinate in your life and they bring wonderful things to you. Here's a promise and this is a promise you can bank on. It's Malachi chapter 3. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house and test me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you, this is for you, a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. If you want that to be fulfilled in your life, Listen to the prophecy and obey it and do it. When you do it, that's when the blessings come. Well, scraping the bottom of the barrel, stuck with an awful job and staring at $35,000 of debt, Josh, Josh and his wife Priscilla say they were living in pure misery. Then they had a major financial breakthrough that led to a 700% increase in their income. And here's how they did, did it. Josh Millette is a successful software developer. However, he couldn't find a job in his field the first few years out of college. To supplement his wife's income, he took a job working construction. I was making about $12 an hour. My wife just started teaching at a public school. Um, so she was the breadwinner. I was scraping the bottom of the barrel as far as financial income. With fluctuating credit card debt, car payments, house payments, Josh's $35,000 student loan and unexpected medical bills. It was a challenge. I was on site at a construction job and I remember looking around and this awful empty feeling that I had of what am I doing in life? It's this pure misery. Josh's wife, Priscilla, prayed that God would move him out of construction. 
I knew that he was supposed to be a computer programmer because the Lord told him that. And so if the Lord told him that, then I knew it was going to happen. Josh began claiming that breakthrough, especially after watching other people's financial testimonies on the 700 Club. We'd see the one day so-and-so overcame this, one day so-and-so overcame that. And I knew that if the Lord could do that for them, that he is no respecter of person, and that one day he will do that for me. He believed it could happen for them because, like the people he saw on the 700 Club stories, the Millettes faithfully tithed and had done so their whole marriage. At the end of the day, my thought process was, you know what, the only person that can get me out of this situation is gonna be the Lord. And so if that means that we tithe with what small amount of money we have, that means that we tithe on that money. Finally, Josh got a better paying job in computers. Before long, he was offered a software development position. It was actually double the amount that he was making at his prior job. That provided a great relief um, for to start getting rid of some of the debt that we were fighting with. They also started giving to CBN. The Lord uh, spoke to us and asked us to start giving to the, to the 700 Club, and, and so we did. I love hearing about Operation Blessing and all the things that you do for the people who need honestly, to be blessed. People all across the world, it's a, you're able to be a missionary right where you're at. So we started off $20 a month. Uh, we were faithful every month writing out those checks. Um, and over time, the Lord would, you know, nudge us to give more. Throughout the process of paying down the debt, the couple had also been struggling for years with infertility. Then one day, while watching the 700 Club, they came on and they said, you know, there's a woman out there, she's trying to get pregnant, and I have a word from the Lord right now, and he's saying that you're gonna get pregnant and you're gonna have a healthy baby in nine months from now. And so I am like, I am claiming it. And then exactly nine months to the day, I was in the hospital having my son. Meanwhile, as Josh switched jobs several times, his salary continued to go up. We're seeing the blessing from the Lord for being faithful. You know, he says, give. And so we kept giving and giving. And then, and then we would start to see the return fall back onto us. There were so many times where we would just have extra money that we couldn't even, we didn't know why we had extra money. Today, the couple has two children and their debt is gone. Recruiters regularly approach Josh with better job opportunities that result in higher pay, and his income has increased 700%. There was no way I could fabricate this um, type of financial success. I am a true believer that the Lord can bless you if you give him that opportunity. All we're supposed to do is be obedient in his word. And part of that word is he asks us to give the 10%. It was the relationship of the giving. And it was because we were faithful, because we didn't stop, because we continue to seek the Lord, because we continue to give. You can never outgive God. There's no way. Here's the principle that they live by. It's from 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. You must each decide in your heart how much to give, for God loves the person who gives cheerfully, and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. As the scriptures say, they share freely and give generously to the poor. Their good deeds will be remembered forever. Here's the Apostle Paul. He's talking to the church in Corinth and he's encouraging them. Give, give generously. The measure you use, it will be measured back to you. And then he quotes from Psalm 112. This is what the righteous do. They give generously.
Now I've got some wonderful news. Existing CBN partner from North Carolina loves giving to CBN and loves challenging others to give. And so he is challenging you $75,000 all the way to the end of the hour. And what that means is your giving will be automatically matched up to and including $75,000. And let's pray over this. Lord, we pray over this challenge. We pray that it would be met and it would be exceeded, that it would be doubled, that it would be tripled. Lord God Almighty, do a miracle in our midst. And for the partner who made it possible, bless him, bless his family, bless everything concerning him, bless his business, bless his finances, open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing he cannot contain. And for those watching, making decisions right now, just stand with them and encourage them. Let them know you want to generously provide for them. Do it all, Lord, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Challenge amount is $75,000. What are we asking you to do? Well, we're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Well, it's just $20 a month. That's 65 cents a day. Some of you can join at higher levels. We have 700 Club Gold at 40 a month. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year. That breaks out to $84 a month. We also have 2,500 Club at 2,500 a year. Founder, $5,000 or more a year. Then Chairman Circle, 10,000 or more a year. At whatever level God is challenging you to be generous, do it right now. 1-800-700-7000. You can also give online at CBN.com or you can text us. You can text CBN to 71777. Either way, do it right now. 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, when you become a CBN partner, we have a special gift for you. It's Gordon's latest teaching called Divine Direction, God's Blueprint for Your Future, and it's a great way to start the new year. You are a divinely created human being. There is no one else in history like you and God has a special plan for your life. Hello, this is Gordon Robertson. In my latest teaching, I examine three of life's biggest questions. Who are you? Where do you come from? Where are you going? How you answer these very important questions can hold the keys to your future. Hear Gordon Robertson's newest audio teaching, Divine Direction, God's Blueprint for Your Future. Gordon will guide you through the great questions each of us must ask and answer to discover our unique and specific purpose in life. As you unlock the answers to these three questions, you will see how God's plan can unfold for you. Get Divine Direction, God's blueprint for your future. Yours when you become a CBN partner. Divine Direction. It's a wonderful teaching and it's a great way to start the new year. And it comes with a 21 day devotional to further enhance your study. So we're going to send this to you right away. Call now. Join the 700 Club. You'll be blessed by this, but more significantly, you'll be touching the lives and needs of thousands of people. So call now 1 800 700 7000. Gordon? Well, Herbert was scared when he found out his name was on a list of people to be let go by his company. His wife, Lilia, was also afraid after she retired and her pay was cut by 80%. Both of them worried they might not be able to make ends meet. Well, it turns out the couple is doing better than ever, all because of something Lilia says works every single time. From the time they met and married in 2003, Herbert and Lilia Dardoon have always agreed on finances. It was never a question. It was never a battle between us. We knew. You know, when she got paid, when I got paid, check went to the church. I have seen God do so many miraculous things in my life because I trusted to step out in faith and give. However, in 2015, they thought they were in trouble. Herbert's company was restructuring and his name was on the list to be let go. I would be a liar if I didn't say I was scared because I was scared. At this point, I'm in, in my late 40s. People don't hire older people as easily as you, you would hire someone who's young and more trainable. In spite of his fear, the Dardones continue to tithe, pray, and trust God. Soon, Herbert was offered a different managerial position in the same company. Although his title changed, his salary 
benefits, and seniority were all left untouched. It was a sigh, sigh of relief that he did, he did take care of me. So the Dardones continued giving. When Lilia began having health problems five years later and had to retire from her teaching job, she was worried. When I retired, I was very concerned about the tithe. And that was probably the first time in my life that I was concerned about it. I knew that my pay was gonna be cut down by 80% and we had bills. I started to wait and pay the tithe after I paid the bills, which really wasn't working out financially. Now their money wasn't going as far as it once did. When my checks were large, I didn't have a problem tithing. But when my check got smaller, I had more of a problem. When I put my tithe at the end instead of first, I felt a, a change in my spirit. Lilia says God spoke to her. I literally heard him say to me in my mind, in my heart, in my spirit, you know, where am I in this? You know, are you trusting me still? He convicted me. Lilia decided she needed to put her trust back in God and not in her checkbook. I had to tithe first not last. It was really a test. It really was of my um, commitment to the Lord. And he has never let us down, like not, not once. Since that time, Herbert has been promoted steadily and even received a bonus during the pandemic. As they've seen God bless them, the Dardones look for ways to bless others. One way they do that is through partnering with CBN. I have been watching Covenant Club for, gosh, I don't know, 40 years. CBN is doing such a great job, and I know that I can trust CBN, right? One area the Dardones are passionate about is clean water. They were thrilled that CBN has numerous water projects going on. So why reinvent the wheel when God's already got the program going? So let's, let's partner with you. To know that my little small amount of money goes to those areas of need, it's a blessing that we can do that without having to go. I would love to go. But when you know when you can't go, you at least send money. Lilia and Herbert know firsthand that their money is being used to help people around the world. They encourage everyone to trust God with their finances and see how He will bless them. Don't hold your money this tight, because you hold it tight, nothing coming in, nothing going out. Try giving, and you'll see that God is faithful. If we want to see Him work in our life, we have to trust that concept. The law of reciprocity. The law of sowing and reaping, if you just step out and you try it, it's, it's going to blow your mind. It works every single time. All the promises of God are yes and amen. And who is that yes and amen for? It's for you. If you're in Christ, all the promises are for you. You can read the Bible, find a promise and say, that's for me. Here's a proverb for you. It's from chapter 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. If you need direction, if you need God to be speaking to you in your life, 2023, who doesn't need that? God, direct me. Show me the way to go. Well, then trust him. Put all of your trust in him. Don't lean on your own understanding. It seems counterintuitive to give, particularly when you've been laid off and particularly when you've had your income cut by 80%. That's not a time to say, well, I'm going to go out and be generous. But when you act on God's promise and say, yes, I'm going to do that, you see the result. It always works when you trust him. If you want to start 2023 saying, I'm trusting God, this isn't some get rich quick. It certainly isn't some heavenly lottery. This is when you commit, I'm going to be all in with God. I'm going to live life his way. I'm going to obey his commandments, live the way he wants me to live. When you do that, wonderful blessings will come to you. And if you want to be generous this year, give us a call. 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. We're in the middle of a $75,000 challenge. That means your giving will be automatically matched and doubled up to and including 75,000. If we can get the red number up, we've got 63,000 to go. So we need to hear from you. 1-800-700-7000. Or you can go to CBN. Com. When you give monthly on the internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving, the bank doing all the work, and we can send as our gift to you Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, go to CBN.com. 
and say, I'm going to give monthly, or you can call us, 1-800-700-7000, and say, I want to join Pledge Express. Let's go to Andrew at the phones. Thanks so much, Gordon. Hi, everyone. Well, it is a new year, and we want 2023 to be your best year ever. And that's why we want you to have a new teaching and devotional from Gordon called Divine Direction. And with this, you'll discover God's unique plan for your life. I want to discuss with you three important questions. The answers to which will determine the course of your life. Where do you come from? Who are you? Where are you going? Divine Direction, God's blueprint for your future. The latest audio teaching from Gordon Robertson. What does it really mean to be a child of God? What does it really mean that I'm going to God? Divine Direction, get your copy today. It's a phenomenal teaching. Listen, in this new year, you need to focus on what God says about you, his love for you, his plan for you, his concern for you, how he has a future and a hope for you. There's so many distracting voices we listen to. It's time to listen to the voice of God. I urge you to get this teaching from Gordon. It's yours when you join us at the 700 Club level. That's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. And we'll send you a copy of Divine Direction. If you come on board at 700 Club Gold, that's $40 a month. We'll send you three copies of this audio teaching, which you can download and stream. Also a great 21 day devotional that goes along with it. I've been involved in it as this year has started. It's been tremendous. You can also join us at a higher level, $84 a month or higher. You'll receive five copies of this teaching. I also want to recommend you text us in order to tell us about your gift. Text CBN to 71777, and almost immediately you'll get a response with a link. If you don't want to talk to someone on the phone, this is a great way to do it. You can just tell us what your gift is through text CBN to 71777. However you let us know, we'd love to hear from you. 1-800-700-7000 is the number to call. We are in the middle of a challenge. We would love to hear from you. Terry, over to you. When you become a CBN partner, you bring life-changing surgeries to people all over the world, like a little boy named Shundo. He needed a simple surgery to have a normal life, but his parents had no way to pay for it. And CBN partners, thanks to you, they didn't have to. Shundo was born with a cleft lip and palate, so growing up, he could barely eat. I look at Shundo's lips and couldn't stop crying. His immunity got really weak, and he always got sick. The couple didn't want people to make fun of their son, so they kept him at home. I closed all the doors and windows. He always cried to get out and wanted me to put the ointment I used for his mosquito bites on his lips. I said, honey, this ointment won't fix your lip. You need surgery. But the Wongs are poor and knew they'd never be able to afford surgery. I started looking online for charities that could help and found CBN. I was so happy. CBN paid for Shundo's cleft lip surgery. I said to him, you are strong and healthy now, like a little star. CBN said they helped us because of God's love. I thank the CBN donors for loving us so much. It's a love I had never felt. You saved my baby and you saved my family. You can imagine what an amazing thing it is when you feel so very alone, so totally incapable of ever being able to afford surgery for your child. And then people you don't know from far away send the love of God right into the midst of your circumstance and they give your child the needed surgery. You've given this child not just a repaired lip, but hope and a future. We say thank you, 700 Club members. You have an opportunity to change lives here in America and around the world. Join now, it's a great time. In fact, we're in the middle of a challenge, so everything you give right now is gonna be matched dollar for dollar, up to $75,000. So let us hear from you, Gordon. Well, alone, confused, and scared. That's how a grandmother from South Africa spends her days. She stays inside the house since she can no longer walk without fear of falling, all because she's been blinded by cataracts. And here's how you became the answer to her prayers. 
Nosayini moved in with her daughter to spend more time with her and her grandchildren. Not long after the move, she developed cataracts in both of her eyes. At first, my vision was just blurry. Then suddenly, it was very bad. I was confused and scared. I am only 67 years old. I'm too young to be blind. I can't walk outside alone anymore because I'm worried I will fall and break my leg. I'm afraid to use the stove because I can't see anything and might start a fire or burn myself. Now, while her family goes about their day, Nosayini spends her time inside. While my grandchildren are in school, I am alone. I try not to worry because I know they will come home soon. I sit here with the door closed and think, if only I could see. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. When I am left all by myself and the door is shut, I pray, Father, have mercy on me. When her family learned about Grace Vision, a ministry supported by Operation Blessing, they reached out to us for help. Soon, her surgery was arranged and paid for. I don't know what I would have done without you because there's no way I would have been able to afford the surgery. I never thought I would see again. This surgery will be life-changing, and it's just one of 10 that Operation Blessing is sponsoring here. It went so smoothly. I didn't even feel the pain. Now I can see, and my heart is full of happiness. When I saw for the first time, I felt my body came back to life. I can go outside and work in my garden. I can see over there. I can see everywhere. Now when the kids leave for school, I walk out with them and wave goodbye. When they come home, the food is ready because I have cooked. I am just so happy. My heart is overwhelmed with joy. God bless you and protect you. I pray help like this will get to many others like me. Thank you so much. Well, you can see the joy in her face, the smile in her eyes. It's wonderful what happens when people join together and say, yes, let's make a difference in the world. If that's you, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000, and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. I want to be a part of bringing help and hope to people around the world. A portion of every gift you give goes into the work of Operation Blessing to do just that. Another portion goes into the work of CBN International to preach the gospel around the world. It's all made possible because people like you care enough to give. Now, if you're already a member of the 700 Club, I encourage you to increase this year. Consider going to 700 Club Gold at $40 a month or 1,000 Club at $1,000 a year. That's $84 a month. Whatever level, do it right now. 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Andrew. Thank you, Gordon. Well, a new year brings new opportunities to receive more of God's blessings. And in this latest teaching from Gordon, you'll learn how to experience an abundant life filled with joy. The latest audio teaching from Gordon Robertson, Divine Direction, God's blueprint for your future. I can get filled with the joy, the love, peace of the Holy Spirit because I'm made in His image. That's what God wants. That's what He intended from the beginning. I'm supposed to manifest Him in human form. These are wonderful, energizing words. Divine Direction, God's blueprint for your future. Available now. I've been reminded in this teaching that joy comes from knowing who I am in Jesus, and peace comes in knowing He has a plan for my life and for me today. I urge you to join the 700 Club so we can send you this teaching as our thank you. If you join the 700 Club, we'll send you a copy of Divine Direction, the audio teaching, and the three-week devotional. If you join us at the 700 Club Gold level, maybe you can increase your giving from 700 Club to 700 Club Gold. That's $40 a month, and we'll send you three copies, or $84 a month or higher and we will send you five copies of this new teaching. Also, you can text us, text CBN to 71777. However you choose to join us, we're so thankful for your gift, and this teaching, Divine Direction, will really help you take on 2023 under the power of the Holy Spirit and understanding the Word of God. Give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Gordon, over to you. 
Benny and Sarah were down and out. They had no food in the refrigerator. The holidays were coming. Benny had to quit his job for health reasons, so their income took a deep dive. Still, instead of holding on to what little money they had, the couple chose to give. And that choice made the way for a miracle. Benny and Sarah Kirtley love to talk about the good old days. They say God always saw them through, especially when it came to tough financial seasons, like years ago when Benny was in his 50s and found out he had heart problems. I was in a very stressful job, and I knew that if I didn't quit, I'd die. He had to get a pacemaker and go on disability, which drastically affected the couple's income. Around that time, the two became Christians, and Benny heard God speak to him about giving right away. He said, hey, you start giving, and I'll, I'll start giving. We talked about it, but I'll be honest, I didn't know where it was going to come from. Still, in the midst of the financial uncertainty, the couple chose to trust God with their money, and they tithed for the first time. And when we started tithing, things began to change, really for the better. Sarah went from part-time to full-time work, making more than she ever had. Even when that job ended, Christmas coming up and no food in the fridge, the Curleys believed God would somehow intervene because they'd been consistently tithing. We got on our knees and he heard us. Uh, I know he did. Things came out of the blue. And there was a woman in the church that heard that we didn't have any money. So she hands a check to our pastor and it was for $250. It came from God, and he was saying, I, I've got you back. You're going to have food on the table for Christmas. They immediately gave 10% of that $250 to their church, and God kept providing in the midst of Benny's health challenges. He got a paper route and helped a neighbor remodel his home, while Sarah landed some interior decorating jobs. Then they fulfilled a long-standing dream and opened a very successful restaurant, always tithing from their income. Even when they finally retired, they decided to tithe on their Social Security and any additional income they received. We found out we could not afford not to tithe. It's easy. And he promises in Scripture that he will give us more. On top of tithing, the Kirtleys started giving to CBN. We got to where we were really interested in what 700 Club was doing. And it touched our hearts. Medical, surgical, building homes setting up businesses for these people, communities. These are people that need help and children. They're becoming orphans. Then Benny said, do you want to start tithing to the 700 Club? And I said, can we do it? He said, can we not? So we did. The couple has increased their pledge to CBN several times and has given generous one-time gifts as well. We're dedicated to to helping other people through the 700 Club because I think it's one of the few things he asks us to do after we accept him is to further his kingdom. That's important, it really is. Giving to the 700 Club is giving to the world. 700 Club are my feet. They're walking it there. All I'm doing is helping write the check. Now in their golden years, they challenge others to tithe to give to CBN and watch what God will do. He's just asking for us to do our part. Pray about it and let God lead you and guide you. That money is not ours, it's His. You can't outgive God. You cannot. God wants us to be generous. He wants to be cheerful in giving. What a wonderful story. Benny and Sarah saying yes to God, saying yes to the promises of God. When you do that, you walk into this wonderful new reality. The kingdom of heaven will come to you. Miracles, financial miracles can happen for you if you just say, I'm going to follow these principles. I'm going to follow what is said in the Bible. I'm going to claim this promise. I'm going to claim it out loud that I am a follower of Jesus. I want to walk in his ways and be generous. When you do that, wonderful things will happen. If you'd like to in 2023, give us a call. 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700. Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. We have higher club levels. All of those are for you. 700 Club Gold at 40 a month. 1,000 Club, $1,000 a year. Then 2,500 Club, 2,500 a year. Founder, $5,000 or more a year. Chairman Circle, 10,000 or more a year. 
Whatever level, you'll be automatically matched. We've got 26,000 left on a $75,000 challenge, and we need to hear from you. So call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Covered in insect bites, pale, sick. That's how baby Kuhn was found after his parents abandoned him. Today, Kuhn is a happy, healthy two-year-old, and it's thanks to your generosity. In the middle of the COVID pandemic, a little boy was dropped off at a small church in Thailand. He'd been abandoned by his parents. Without help, he might have died. When baby Kun first came to us, he was covered in insect bites. He looked very pale, and he often got sick. Som Sri and her husband Samai are pastors nearing retirement. Yet, they brought Kun into their home. When I first saw him, I fell in love with him. Baby Kun was a special gift from God to us. We believe God would help us take good care of him. When their church shut down due to the pandemic, their small source of income dried up. It was a very difficult time. We had to borrow money to buy milk for Kun. I cried and prayed to God to provide for us. Then CBN's Orphan's Promise provided some help. On three occasions, we gave them food and clothes for Kuhn, along with formula and diapers. We also paid for the toddler to receive monthly checkups and for medicine when he got sick. Today, Kuhn is a healthy and happy two-year-old. Som Sri and her husband hope to adopt him. Kuhn is a very cheerful boy. When we say, praise the Lord, he says, Hallelujah! And he lifts up his hands. We thank God for sending you to help our family. May God bless you. That thank you goes to you, 700 Club members. We say thank you for all you're doing around the world. We have an opportunity right now to do even more, and we can do that by giving at this moment because everything you give is going to be doubled, dollar for dollar, up to and including our pledge or our challenge right now. So let us hear from you. Can I tell you how to do that and what your options are? First of all, we have a toll-free number right there, 1-800-700-7000. You can also go to CBN.com, find the giving page and give there, or or text CBN to 71777. Just call if you're calling on the phone and say, I want to join the 700 Club. And would you do it using Pledge Express? That's electronic monthly giving. It means the bank does all the work. It's pretty wonderful. You can stop it when you want, but it gives us even more to put into the lives of people like Kuhn and his family. So call text, uh, go to CBN.com, do something right now because we need to meet this challenge and it's going to be over shortly. When you use Pledge Express, we're going to send you Power for Life teachings. You'll get one of these every month. I think you'll love them and you'll have the satisfaction of knowing you've done a great deal to make a difference. Gordon? All right, I've got some wonderful news. The partner for North Carolina wants to increase this. Increase it by 25,000 tickets to 100,000. Lord, I pray for everyone watching right now, making decisions that you would stand by and encourage them. Let them know that your promises over them are yes and amen. Be with them now, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. 100,000 is the challenge. Red number is 36,000. We need to hear from you. We want to go over the top on this. Eight minutes and 12 seconds to go. Call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Jose was only seven years old and in so much pain, he thought he was going to die. He even told his mother how much he was going to miss her. Well, today he's completely pain-free and he wants to thank you for making it possible. Seven-year-old Jose was born with a condition called cryptochordism, which causes severe pain in his lower abdomen. One day, I was playing with my cars. I felt the pain in my stomach. I told mom, this lump is hurting me. It showed her my stomach. He said when the pain happened at night, it was even worse. At night, I felt really sharp pains. It hurt so bad, I thought I was going to die. I told my mom, if I die, I am going to miss her. Jose lives in a remote community in Mexico. His parents finally saved enough to take him to a clinic. There, a doctor told them that Jose needed surgery. Without it, the condition could eventually lead to cancer. 
I started crying that night. I have seen many mothers whose children have died, and they suffer a lot. Then Operation Blessing arranged for Jose and his mom to travel to the hospital where we paid for the boy to receive free surgery. That surgery was a success, and Jose was quickly running and playing without fear and without pain. I'm happy because I can do anything. My stomach does not hurt anymore. Thank you very much to the people who support Operation Blessing. Thank you for helping me with the operation. That thank you goes to you if you're a member of the 700 Club. Because of you, we're able to do this. We're able to provide special surgeries for children, for people around the world. You're a part of everything when you join the 700 Club. So do it right now. 1-800-700-7000. We have a $100,000 challenge. The red number is coming down, 31,000. I'm going to take it down even more. Here from Carsville, Virginia, 2,500 Club member coming in 2,600. And then from Waverly, Ohio, new founder at $5,000. That takes us to 23 with five minutes on the clock. Call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go over to Andrew. Thank you so much, Gordon. Listen, have you ever asked yourself these kind of questions? Who am I? What's my purpose in life? Where am I going? Well, you'll find the answers to these questions in Gordon's new teaching called Divine Direction, God's Blueprint for Your Future. And you'll also hear one of the most important truths you need to know. You belong to God. New from Gordon Robertson, Divine Direction, God's Blueprint for Your Future. If you are in Christ, you are a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We can go boldly to the throne of grace and receive our requests. The King is always available for His children. We belong to God. Divine Direction, God's Blueprint for Your Future. Available now. Listen, Jesus promised us an abundant life. And if you want an abundant life in the Lord, you need to understand the Word of God, God's plan for you, God's purpose for you, and most of all, His love for you. Gordon's new teaching will explain all this. It's yours when you join us at the 700 Club level, 1-800-700-7000. Or you can also get on board by texting CBN to 71777. However you join, there's just over four minutes left in this challenge, $14,000 left. So please join the 700 Club, 1-800-700-7000, and we will rush you Gordon's new teaching, Divine Direction. Terry, over to you. Well, Tyler and his wife, Roxanne, lost three loved ones during the pandemic. Took a toll on them emotionally and financially. To make ends meet, the couple turned to a food pantry and they received more than groceries. They were also given hope. After Tyler and Roxanne got married and started a family, they lived on Tyler's income while both pursued degrees in psychology and pastoral counseling. After the arrival of their fourth child, finances were tight. Then COVID left their family shattered. 2020, I had lost my parents and my biological father, and that was really rough. Each time they went home to Oklahoma to be with family, they had to rent cars with enough room for four kids. We were drained in pretty much every, every aspect you can look at it, financially, emotionally, spiritually. The extra travel expenses took their toll. They needed help making ends meet, so they turned to Heritage Church, a partner of Operation Blessing. When we went to the food pantry, it was a lot of kind of relief and a lot of gratitude, just an overwhelming sense of love. Receiving the food really helped to restore a lot of hope, like a reminder from God, like it's going to be okay. And if he can supply food, you know, he'll supply the rest. Tyler and Roxanne have now graduated with their counseling degrees and look forward to helping others. Thanks to the support of our partners, Tyler and Roxanne's family received the help they needed when they needed it the most. There were times I don't know who would have had anything if we didn't have that, so thank you. Those who, who are part of Operation Blessing, I say thank you so much. You've helped out in more ways than you know. Thank you indeed. And here are some more reasons to say thank you. This is Sandown, New Hampshire, $2,520. Thank you. Ottawa, Kansas, $2,508. Thank you. And I've got Orlando, Florida, 2,500 club member. Hey,
Virginia, another 2,500 club member. We want to go way over the top on this $100,000 challenge. Call us right now and be a part of it. Well, a single suitcase, that's all Nadia took with her when she fled the war in Ukraine with her two children. After her family reached shelter, they were given healthy meals and other essentials, plus they received love and compassion, all because you cared enough to give. The war in Ukraine has left families devastated and filled with fear. Mothers and their children have been forced to flee the violence. The war entered my life when a rocket flew in the direction of our city at about 5 a.m. We left because we have two children and we had to save their lives. Operation Blessing and Orphans Promise partner with local churches and humanitarian groups to provide support and encouragement to many victims of war like Nadia. We left our home with just a suitcase. It's very difficult with such a small child, but we were provided with everything we needed. We were welcomed here. Thanks to Operation Blessing and Orphans Promise Partners, families like Nadia's have fresh, healthy meals and critical supplies in their greatest time of need. Thank God we are under the wing of the Lord. We are clothed and fed. We get full meals here like we would have at home. And just like at home, everything is cooked with love. The children are very happy in this peaceful place. That's what 700 Club members do. We help the refugees in Ukraine. We help people both staying through the war as well as those who are leaving the country. You're a part of all of that when you join with us. So call us, 1-800-700-7000. We're going over the top. Here's Taylorsville, North Carolina, 2,500 Club members. Stark, Florida, 4,200. Newman, Georgia, 3,300, and then Holly, Michigan, 2,500 club. All of that went into the challenge. We had a $100,000 challenge, and against that, you gave 138. Here's a verse from Matthew. Freely you have received, freely give. May God bless everyone who called in. God bless you, and may you have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow.